Welcome to another exciting lesson. In our previous lesson, we looked at creative rhythmic activities, which we said that these activities are activities that are made by animals, objects, and also machines in our surroundings. And these rhythmic activities follows regular pattern. We also looked at some of the characteristics of creative rhythmic activities. And lastly, we looked at the examples of creative rhythmic activities. Today, we are going to be looking at track events. And during the course of this lesson, we will take a very deep look at long distance race as an example of track events. In the course of this lesson, we will learn the meaning of track events, the type of track events that we have, the meaning of the long distance race, which we are going to be looking at as a type of track events, various long distance races that we have, and also requirements for long distance races. First, what is track event? Track event is an event in which athletes run or walk around a race track. A race track are tracks or paths that are placed for an athlete to run on. Or we can easily put that track event is an athletic event that takes place on a racing or a running track. From the examples, from the picture that we have seen, shows us a clear example of what the track event is. An athlete runs or walks on a racing track. A track is a marked path or course for racing. The only people that are allowed on a track are athletes. An athlete runs on a track. Athletes are people who are involved in sporting activities. So any different sporting activities, those people are called athletes. We're going to be looking at the types of track events. The first we have here is the relay race, which we're also going to be talking about in our subsequent classes. We also have the long distance race, which we are going to be looking at today. Huddles and also sprints. All these are examples or types of the track events. But today we are going to look at the long distance race. Long distance races are races that are several hundreds of meters long. Now, from the name long distance, you can tell us a little bit about the race. This race takes a longer time compared to a normal race. This race takes several hundreds of meters long. Long distance race requires more of strength than speed. It means that in this race, you don't really need speed. All what you need is strength, endurance, agility, and stamina. This is because this race is very energy consuming. The race consumes a lot of energy, so you don't really need speed, you need this energy. Some of these long distance races include your 800 meter race, your 1500 meter race, your 3000 meter race, your 5000 meter race, and your 10,000 meter race. We also have the marathon race, but in the standard Olympic game, the long distance race are 5,000 meter race and 10,000 meters. These are the standard long distance race for athletes. They are the 5,000 meter race and the 10,000 meter race. The marathon race. A marathon race is a long distance with an official distance of 42.195 kilometers, usually runs as a road race. It can be 
a cross state or a cross country race. Now, from the picture that we have seen, we can say that the marathon race can cover a very long distance of about 42.195 kilometers that can cover either a state or a country. An example of this race is the Opepe Marathon Race that is hosted by a Edo State Government. This is an example of the marathon race. Requirement for long distance race. Now, for you to partake in the long distance race, there are some things that you need to have. Like I said earlier on, this race does not really require speed. It requires energy. It requires strength. So the first requirement that we need is not really speed. It is energy. For you to be a long distance athlete, you must have energy to endure. You must be able to run for a very long time without getting tired. You must be able to move a very long distance without getting tired, without getting frustrated. Another one is determination. For you to be in this long distance race, you must be determined to never give up, to always make sure that you are on top, to always make sure that your strength is well covered. Another one is endurance. You must endure pain. You must resist weakness. We also have stamina to be able to be fit and strong without getting tired. An aerobic condition. You must be fit. You must be in a good condition. And also, you must have a proper kit. All these are the requirements that are needed for long distance race. We also have some other races that we are going to be looking at in our next class. Do not forget to always do your assignments that is given and try as much as possible to take notes. See you in our next class.